follow-up question was about the the workload that would be associated with having yeah. this service. So yeah. maybe if you could maybe yeah. just take that one first, yeah. if you could say a little about the 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 um, yeah. sort of staff costs and human costs and yeah. uh, you know, there's a lot of psychological costs in you know, this job. So if you just maybe yeah. say a little bit about the cost. Sure. Um, as you say, costs of many dimensions. Um, the 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 limiting factor in terms of, of delivery of this uh, kind of program is not so much technology anymore. Mm -hmm. um, the technology is relatively inexpensive. It's having uh, the resource in terms of, of human skills to, to deliver it. Um, we, in, in the field of pediatric cardiology and indeed children's intensive care, there is, is now uh, quite hard to, to recruit um, people um, who will work in that area because it uh, is uh, something that uh, is a stressful area um, and so therefore um, we we're very lucky in in, in 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 our own unit that we have we do experienced staff but those experienced staff uh, need to be on the war too and if you take someone away from uh, from that area then you you have to be able to justify the benefits of that so I would love if we had if we could expand the program um, hopefully in time we will do that um, we have in the past used um, our research fellows to to do the program but now that we've shown that it's a benefit it, it really is a clinical service and uh, um, and the, the the nurses who've been on ward a long time really are very very knowledgeable and they're the best people to to uh, pick up the, the the clues that things are are going that's what